Hi dreamers, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 read. It's going to entail what's going on with you and your energy for the next 48 hours and what's going on with homeboy, home girl. If any time this resonates with you, please make sure that you're giving me a big fat thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, helps my channel grow, and also helps this video get out to other dreamers like you who need to hear this message. Also guys, make sure you're dropping a moon in the comment section down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. I want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's been commenting, subscribing, and liking my videos. That really means so much to me. You guys really touch me when I come back and I look at my channel and how it's growing. It really touches my heart. So I just want to say thank you guys. Like it really touches me so crazy. Okay. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If you want a personal, all the information will be down in the description box below. If you want to follow my Instagram pages, that's going to be in the description box under social media. And if you want to buy a candle from me, that'll be the first link you see down in the description box below. I have all three candles here to show you. So this is my first candle I ever put out. This one is called Lucid. All right, this one smells like paradise, guys. That's the best way for me to describe it. Um, it has top notes of papaya, coconut, spearmint, and gardenia. This one is life, okay? It also has lapis lazuli and aquamarine. This one gives a really soothing um, effect for anybody who burns it, okay? So this one will like help insomniacs. It'll help you relax. It'll help you meditate. This one is just really like, like being on a beach somewhere. It's like paradise. It really is what um, it's called lucid dreaming. Okay. Now this one too is another, so that's my bestseller. This one is my second bestseller. This one is called vivid. All right. And this is a new release guys. I just released this one. This one is very special because it smells like rose, vanilla, sea salt, and honey. Okay. Oh, just a divine mix of flavors okay and this one has real rose petals inside and it has um rose quartz okay this one helps open that heart chakra it helps with emotional trauma and also helps you communicate with your angels i don't think a lot of you know that roses and rose oil really helps you communicate with your angels with spirit and it helps with you know it's great for prayer and meditation so i love this candle it smells so good I mean, this one just smells so good. Like you could lick this one up, okay? <laughs> and then my third candle, which is a, another um, re new release, is called Night, all right? This one's very special to me because this is my protection candle, okay? It has um, amethyst and black obsidian in there. Those two really help to protect you, okay, from negative energies, from intense energies. This also will help you with courage, um, make you feel more confident. This one is my masculine scent, but it does have a little hint of sweetness in there. So there's amber, musk, cedar, and um, the other top note would be um, brown sugar. And I did that just to round it off a little bit. So it could be a unisex candle. And this one, really and truly, guys, I love how this one smells. I'm not going to lie. I actually have a burning in the background. And I'm going to be quiet because you can hear it. So all of my candles actually give off um, sound therapy, aromatherapy, and crystal therapy, and they're so great. And I thank everybody who's has supported me. So if you want to buy a candle, guys, that link is going to be the first one down in the description box. Now enough talking. We're going to get straight into the video, all right? I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Hi, Pisces. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. The camera is a little crazy. All right, there we go. Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48, of course. You guys already know that, so we're going to jump in. We're going to get started right away. I'm not going to waste your time or mine. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with your energy for the next 48 hours, my Pisceans. Missed you guys since our last video. Hopefully you're feeling better since our last video. You weren't feeling bad. You're just irritated with everything and everyone. And I understand completely. So hopefully you guys are feeling more open today, okay? Let's see what's going on with my Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces for the next 48 hours? Give me some cards. What's going on with my Pisceans and their energy for the next 48 hours? Spirit, give me some cards, please. The Sun card. Okay, so you are doing way better. So I'm happy to hear that. You're very happy. Things are looking up for you. You also could be dealing with a Leo. All right, I feel like things are looking up at work as well. Three of Pence, okay? So maybe you felt drabby at work for a while. Now you actually feel confident. You feel happy. You feel good when it comes to work. Okay, let's see what else is here. Yeah, look at you, Pisces. Page of Cups. 
Okay, also, I feel like if you were irritated with anyone and you haven't been treating people the best, you apologize for that, right? Or you just apologize for not wanting anyone in your space because you have a lot of people who want to naturally be in your space, Pisces, and you know that you are kind of acting like standoffish. All right, so let's clarify these. But first, oh, Pisces, hold on one second. All right, Pisces, sorry, I had to stop the video because I didn't write down any of the daily um, affirmations for the day, okay? So I had to go do that because it's not fair for me to do that for every other sign and then not do that for you, Taurus, Libra, and Virgo who are remaining. So I did that. So let me talk about your daily affirmation first. Your daily affirmation, first of all, guys, we're going to say it. I'm going to say it once so you know. The second time you can attempt to say with me, the third time I say it, is to make it so that you say it confidently or I say it confidently to you. I really want you guys to practice these affirmations because my whole theory on affirmations is that um, it's the confidence that you give yourself when no one else is around to give it to you. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people look for confidence in others. Oh, do they approve what I'm wearing? Do they approve how I look? Is my makeup okay? Is my hair okay today? Oh my God, um, is this outfit good? Oh my God, do they like how I'm acting? Oh, do they think I'm mannerable? Like, fuck those people. You give that to yourself. Do you think you look okay? Do you think that you look fine as hell today? You know, are you impressed with what you're, the energy you're giving off? So I believe in daily affirmations and I'm going to incorporate these in my readings because I feel like they are so important, okay? So I'm going to say it three times. The first time is just for you to hear it. Second time, I want you to say it with me. The third time, I want you to say it confidently. I want you to believe in it, okay? And um, Pisces, I have, I held... Aquarius's hands <laughs> while I was saying the reading I really feel like I'm feeling the need to hold your hands as well okay so you and Aquarius I don't know why y'all need this special babying by me but I really like y'all energy so we're gonna hold hands okay so hold my hand so your affirmation is I enjoy sharing the real me in relationships okay let me explain this first of all Pisces you know, I feel like last week, if you haven't watched your last week's um, reading, go watch that. If you're new here, go watch that one. I feel like it will resonate with you. But I feel like you always like this. Every time people see Pisces, it's like, hmm, hmm. Only your family and your friends who are family to you know that sometimes you don't feel happy. But people who don't know you like that are not used to that. And I feel like you gave that energy out to people you, that you like, you know last week and people didn't know how to handle it they're like yo what is up with pisces why is pisces acting this way let me tell you something this affirmation i enjoy sharing the real me and relationships that's the real you everybody has their ups and downs every day is not gonna be a happy day some days i'm gonna be irritated sometimes i'm gonna have attitude you have to be okay with sharing that with people and i see that you're gonna be apologizing to some people or trying to make up for how you treated people it's like no you don't have to make up for it because pisces you endure people's real attitudes all the time and do they make up for it no you just have to take that shit so i don't want you to feel bad for being attitude one day or moody because that is life you know what i'm saying anyway hold my hand pisces hold my hand all right hold my hand and we're gonna say this three times so the first time i enjoy showing sharing sorry i enjoy sharing the real me in relationships the second time let's say it together i enjoy sharing the real me in relationships okay Third time, we're going to speak this confidently to the universe, okay? Hold my hand, Pisces. Hold my hand. All right? I enjoy sharing the real me, give it with some attitude, <laughs> in relationships. And you better fucking like it. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right? So, Pisces, that's your daily affirmation. All right, let's pull some random messages about your energy, okay? So, let's pull some random messages for, for Pisces energy. Give me some random messages for Pisces energy, please. Give me some random messages, please. I know where you've been and what you've been doing. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> All right, who do you know this about? So you know the real about someone, but I feel like you've been keeping it quiet. That's your part. Remember I told you? It's like you don't like to be unfavorable to people, but I feel like someone's being unfavorable to you and you're just taking it, okay? What else is here? My family doesn't like you. All right, Pisces. So your family doesn't like someone that you're probably interested in or your family... When, I feel like if you're dating someone new, Pisces, I feel like your family was like, yo, this person's not for you. 
point blank period and you're like no give them a chance but your family knows better then you know it's like your family is not hating they just like yo this person's not for you like i can see through this person's bullshit they're not for you i feel like your family does not like who you're dating or who you're interested in right now or your family is like skeptical you know if you told someone that is like a friend that's like family or if you told your family about this person it's like they didn't say it to you upright but in their head they're like it's not gonna work okay and i feel like they are actually they know I don't know why this person knows that, but they do. So it might be true. You might even have doubts about this person yourself, Pisces, is what I'm hearing. All right, what's the sun card? It could be done with a Leo. What's the sun card? Could be done with a Leo. What's the sun card, though? Let's see what the sun card is for my Pisces next 48. Give me the sun card. Yeah, you definitely do on the Leo. You got the strength card here you have the chariot could be done with the cancer all right i feel like you had to put your pride aside about something and just be happy so things are not really going in your life the way that you want it to go pisces but you're still gonna put on a brave face you're still gonna be happy you refuse to let other people see you down you know people are wishing on my downfall i'm hearing that song by who's that person i forget his name it's like these niggas praying on my downfall these niggas wishing on my downfall. You know that you have people like wishing on your downfall. You know, people are waiting for you to crack. You would not allow these people to see that. Actually, you're going to keep going towards success. You're still striving towards success. The chariot card. Let's clarify these two. Give me the strength card, please. Give me the strength card for Pisces. I really feel like you could be done with the Leo, Pisces. Okay. The burden, okay, so there's something that has been bothering you, but you're going to push through, and you're still going to be giving. Pisces, it's like even a job that you're working at, this shit is like a burden to you, but you keep giving. If this is a person, this person doesn't make you really the happiest, but you keep giving to this person. It doesn't matter. You keep giving to this person. Also, you don't like that you be slaving over this person for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's like you really overextended yourself for this person. You know that. You don't like it. You usually don't care, but it has to be equal give and take. I feel like you're the one... Excuse me. I feel like you're the one who's always doing the sharing. I feel like you're the one who's always giving to this person. So it's kind of annoying. What's the chariot card? Ooh. Ten of pentacles. <sighs> you, you know, you're chasing the bag. Pisces, but I feel like whatever you're chasing right now, whatever you're doing for work, it's not the bag. You understand what I'm saying? So you're chasing the bag. You're chasing money. You're chasing wealth. But whatever you're doing, you know it's not long term. It's not going to bring you abundance. Okay? You feel like you could be doing something else and making more money. You're right about that. But you're slow to come to this decision and you're being positive about whatever this is. Whatever you're doing right now for money, it's not it's not the tea. It's not, it's not fulfilling you. And you know it's not long-term, but you're just trying to be positive about it. You're not going to be an asshole because of that. You're just going to try to maybe find something different, okay? We have the Three of Pence up here. The Three of Pence, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is just simply your energy. You're working hard right now. You're doing the work of three people, okay? So what's the Three of Pentacles? Mmm. Who's this Capricorn, Pisces, that you're trying to work things out with, I feel? Or you're trying to work with this Capricorn? Oh. You're also trying to work out a situation that has to do with your lover, okay? There's something... I don't know. Maybe you hit a roadblock. I'm hearing that you hit a roadblock. You're trying to work through it, though. So, Pisces, whoever you're dating right now, you know that maybe it's like... It's kind of tumultuous right now. It's kind of a, it's kind of a burden. It's kind of toxic, right? But you love this person and you're willing to work it out with them. That's good, Pisces, because, you know, you know, no relationship is perfect. So, you know, those people who, like, go through roadblocks with their lovers and then they up and leave, you know, you didn't even try. It's like, okay, you're going to meet someone else. You're going to be in the honeymoon stage. And then guess what? It's going to be toxic. It's going to be tumultuous. Are you going to work it out with that person? You're just going to keep pushing through. I feel like you're very loyal, Pisces, and you're willing to work it out with someone. Give me the lover's card. Give me the lover's, please. I feel like you're willing to work it out with this person even though things are not the best right now yeah justice card this person helped you through a tight situation when you were going through something either monetarily 
Um, emotionally, mentally, this person was there for you. So you're not going to up and ditch them just because things are rocky right now. What's the devil card, please? What's the devil card? Fool card. You think that you believe, no matter how crazy things are between you and this person, you believe that things can be worked out and that you guys can start a new beginning. But you have to work towards it. So I feel like you're putting in the work with this person, Pisces. You don't mind doing that. Also, too, you want a new beginning with a Capricorn. If a Capricorn's in your life, you're thinking about having a new beginning with this person, but it has to be equal give and take, and there has to be a conversation through your pentacles, okay? Hmm. Page of Cups. So I see you apologizing to people, Pisces. I don't know why. Like I told you, everybody has moody days. Everybody has bad days. But I understand you just try to, you know, give out good energy to receive good energy. I understand. But what's the Page of Cups? Because I don't really feel like you need to apologize. Like, that's my... I feel that very strongly. Like, you don't even have to apologize, but you are. All right, so there's a tower moment that maybe you feel like you caused, but I feel like it was coming anyway. So you're calling a truce with the person that you were fighting with. You're like, listen, I'm sorry for doing this. I was wrong. Accept my apology, and hopefully we can work things through. But give me the four of swords. I'm really hearing that it's okay. It's like, whatever. Because whoever you're apologizing to, they've, been, they've done you worse, Pisces. They've done you worse. And... <laughs> They haven't apologized for it. So I'm just like, huh? But I guess you're being a bigger person and that is what spirit wants us to do is be the bigger person. So I don't know why I'm advising you not to. I'm not advising you not to, but as your homegirl, I'm just like, why? Why are you apologizing to this person? Four of swords. Four of swords, please. I mean, I guess you're more mature than me, huh? Yeah, ten of swords. So this is really hurtful. Okay, so I also feel like nobody knows that you and this person were going through something. You and this person are very secretive when it comes... This could be a friendship. This could be a romantic relationship. This could be a family relationship. It doesn't matter. Nobody knows that you and this person were, like, going for each other's necks. But you know, and it did hurt you, that you probably said the wrong things to this person or you treated them a certain way. What's the tower card? But y'all both hurt each other. So I want to know, before you even apologize to this person, Pisces, have they apologized to you first? Not even first. Are they giving you mutual? I feel like it's a truce for swords, but it's still like, is they are they giving you mutual? Yeah, what did I just say? I said that you're more mature than me. So you have the maturity card here, which is the Ace of Pentacles. You see yourself with this person long term, friendship wise, family wise, or lover wise. So you're willing to, you know... You really want this person to apologize and come clean, but you rather do it just to move forward. You're you're turning a new leaf. Page of Pentacles is here. You just want to start fresh with this person. You really don't even care who's wrong in the situation. You're willing to compromise and you're willing to apologize just to keep the peace. And I'm going to keep my mouth shut, okay? I'm not going to say anything I want to say right now, Pisces. But just know I'm on your side with this person. I don't know why. I don't know you from a can of paint. Maybe you was the fucked up one, right? But I really feel like you weren't. Or I feel like you have this leeway to vent and do whatever you did to this person because they've done it to you many times before. But, you know, I commend you for being a bigger person. All right? You're very mature. I'll say that for sure. All right, so let's get into your homeboy, homegirl, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces, homeboy, homegirl? Give me some cards. What's going on with Pisces, homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours? Give me anything significant that's happening with Pisces, homeboy, homegirl for the next 48 hours. I'm also, um, I, I'm doing extendants now for all of my readers. So... It'll go into who your homeboy, homegirl is if you're interested. It'll go deeper into the situation. It'll talk about their past. It'll talk about their current feelings and um, intentions for the connection that you guys have. Their current thoughts about you and also the outcome. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And I'll have the link down below. But let's see what's going on with your homeboy, homegirl. All right, two of pence. Hmm. So somebody's wearing many hats right now or balancing. I feel like somebody's juggling or balancing. Okay, so let's see. We're going to see. We're going to see what's going on. Strength card. Pisces, you're definitely dealing with a Leo. You can't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me otherwise. I mean, not all of you are, but most of you are. And you can't tell me otherwise. You could be dealing with Aquarius. The full card is here. You also could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, okay? Hmm. Let me tell you something, too, about your person. Your person, first of all, could be a cat person. There's, I definitely see a cat lady, cat person here. Or like even a dog person. Maybe your person's an animal person, but they I really keep hearing cat, cat lady, cat lady. <laughs> I 
All right. Let me tell you about your person. Whatever they do for work is cool. They make good money, but this person sees themselves being the boss of whatever they work or they, they want something different. Not when it comes to you, Pisces. I feel like your person likes you so much or loves you so much. I feel like whatever they do for work, they want something different. They're tired of doing the same old, same old. They might have not even expressed this to you or maybe they did, but they really do. They Your person sees you're dumb working in luxury like they want to be a boss of something your person wants to explore their dreams but they never will very stagnant energy someone who worked at the same place for years to come someone who is afraid to go for their dreams reach for the stars give me the two of pentacles please give me the two of pentacles Your person is looking for something that's going to give them more money. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like wherever they are right now, it doesn't give them as much as they're worth. But they also will not leave the job. So that's annoying, right? Person also... I'm hearing this person juggle. So I don't know if they're juggling you and another person, Pisces. I mean, we'll see an extended. But I feel like your person could juggle their work in you. Like, it's like... And that's annoying to you because you like you put this person first. You wish they would put you first. So this person juggles their work with you, but they take it very seriously. But at the same time, they hate their job. So you're like, why do you put your job before me? Okay. I don't know. All right. Let's clarify these cards. I'm going to be doing the Torin for sure. And I'm getting, you know, um, Earth energy again. Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Hmm. But I'm really curious. Why do you... I mean, it's not you. I feel like your person does juggle you and work, but it's like, you know, that like work is important, but I feel like you feel like your person thinks their job is more important than you and that's hurtful. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Or money is more important than you and that's hurtful. What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? So many cards want to come out for the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, okay? You have the Three of Swords here. You have the you have the Virgo card here, the Hermit, okay? It's like when this person works, they bury themselves into work, but you know this person hates their job. So you're like, but you give more to what you hate. You understand? Like, I don't know. I'm so conflicted right now. And I feel like you've been conflicted over this person for the longest, too. Because this person will tell you, like, yeah, my job stresses me out or what I do for work stresses me out. But they still put it before you. So it's very confusing. You're like, you're like, what is it? You know, like, I feel very conflicted right now. I feel like, huh? Also, there was something in the past where this person was broke. This could be way in the past because I feel like your person... This is your person's approach to money. I will never go broke again. I will never go broke again. I will work till my hands bleed to make sure that I'm not broke or that I can live luxurious. I don't know what happened to your person's past with money, but something really bad happened with money. Maybe they came up on a big settlement or a lot of money and then they lost it all by making dumb decisions. This person's afraid of being broke so that's why they stay at this job that's like a dead end that's why they they work on what they hate you also feel like that's putting a strain on a relationship because this person could hate what they do for work but they spend so much time at work and it puts a strain on your relationship y'all sex life is what i'm hearing okay what's the empress ace of swords hmm Also feel like male or female, your person would rather stay at home. Not saying that they want to not work. It's just whatever this person does for work, they wish that they could stay at home forever. Okay? And also because of COVID, people are staying at home for work. But it's like your person wants to stay at home. They feel more, more comfortable in the house. They wish they could do that forever, but they can't. So this could also put a strain on this person. Hmm. I don't know where that came from. Like, I'm like, why am I even talking about this person's job? But I feel like this person's job has a lot to interfere with your relationship. Matter of fact, let's pull some random messages on this person right now before we move on to the next two cards. Give me some um, random messages when it comes to Pisces homeboy homegirl for the next 48 hours. 
September. Oh, no, sorry. I thought it said September. Spend time with family. Hmm. How is your person's relationship with their family? Because wasn't it for your energy, your family doesn't really like this person or doesn't really see this person being long-term with you? So how is this person's relationship with their family? Are they close with their family like you're close with your family? I feel like this person needs to ground themselves with their family, but that might be, you know, that might be kind of difficult. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm already married. Okay, someone's already married. Somebody's married but separated but still has not put in the divorce papers with their husband wife, okay? So you could be dealing some with someone who's separated but they're not divorced and that that also that's a I'm I won't say that's a red flag, but that's like, you know, if we're moving forward and this is be about to become a relationship, what's going on with your ex relationship? You know, that is I don't wanna say it's a red flag because you have to give people time, but how much time you need to know if you're gonna move forward from your, your wife. If someone's separated and they don't wanna get a divorce, yes, it does have a lot to do with monetary situations. Maybe they haven't worked something out. But maybe you shouldn't be dating and falling in love with new people if you know that you and your person are still gonna be attached. I don't know. I feel very weird about that kind of situation. Porn addiction. Pisces. So someone could have a porn addiction, either you or your person. I mean, this is your person's energy, so maybe they have a porn addiction. I'm strictly straight. <laughs> Why does this keep coming out? Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to go for it. You know what that means, okay? You know what that means. Also, if somebody has a porn addiction, I feel like they like watching threesome um, porn. So someone likes the fantasy of having someone else in a bedroom. And it's like, if you, if your person wants to do that, they keep trying to push it on you, but you don't like the same sex, so that would never happen. Or it could be vice versa. If you have the porn addiction, you like watching bisexual, or not even bisexual porn, I'm sorry, excuse me, threesome porn, and you want to bring someone else in the bedroom and, and explore that adventure, and your person's like, no, bitch, I'm strictly straight, that would never happen. Agree to disagree. <laughs> You and your person definitely do have little spats where y'all agree to disagree. Because if not, the it's like you have to compromise with this person because if not, y'all argue all day long. All right, strength card. You could be doing with the Leo. What's the strength card here? This is stupid. <laughs> what is the strength card here? What's the strength card? Mm. Page of Swords. What else? When you argue with this person, they stay, they don't, I feel like you feel like this person doesn't get your point of view or if they, or you feel like they do, but they, their, their, um, ego is so high. They won't compromise with you and be like, you know what? You're right. Pisces about that. You're right. This person never tells you you're right. It's always you're wrong or we can agree to disagree. It's never, Hey, you know, what, Pisces, I agree with you or you're right. It's never that. This person hates losing. Just want you to know that this person is a sore loser and that's not only with games. Okay. That's with like arguments that's why you will never be right in this person's eyes pisces you also have the seven of cups here okay this person's wish fulfillment is that they just want you to they want a partner who's gonna just go with whatever they say like this person has control issues okay give me the seven of cups let's clarify that real quick what's the seven of cups stress in reverse okay <laughs> They hate being like challenged. This person hates being challenged. So their wish fulfillment is that you just shut up and listen, basically, okay? This could be also, if this is the person you were dealing with in your last reading, it's like, this is why you needed a break because this person is so controlling. And it's like, you can't even say how you really feel around this person. You have to kind of bite your tongue just to not have this person like get upset, have an attitude. It's kind of annoying. What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Guilt. This person makes you feel guilty. If you if you say some anything that's right above this person, if they didn't do your their research properly that day, I feel like this is someone who does their research just to prove you that they're wrong. Even though everything on the internet is not proven to be a fact, but this person runs to Google to show you that they're right about stuff. I feel like if you make this person feel like they they're not right oh you're gonna feel it throughout the whole day there's an attitude this person's not talking to you you're not getting sex okay and it's really fucked up it, i don't know i don't like how this person can tries to control you what's the page of swords that's lame what's the page of so oh queen of pentacles ten of cups okay this person only loves when you're up their ass or like this person only loves sorry i'm like scratching right now 
<laughs> okay, this person loves to be right. They love to be... This person treats you well when you're on their side. Does that make sense? So if you're up this person's ass crack, Pisces, and you're just like, yeah, you're right. Or, you know, oh, that makes sense. Oh, you're so smart. This person is like, does everything for you. Will cook you dinner. Will massage your back. Will, you know, do your laundry for you. It's like this person will do anything for you as long as they're right. That's sad. All right, full card too. I feel like this person is struggling with their career. They like it. They, they are very loyal to their career, but they hate it. They're ready for something different, a new job. This person really needs to talk to someone because I feel like they don't trust a lot of people. This person might not even trust their friends' opinions or your opinion, right? So I feel like this person could seek a therapist and they only trust the therapist's opinion even though the therapist tells them the same thing you might have told them or their friends or their family. But they're like, no, the therapist is licensed. I'm going to trust them. This person keeps themselves stuck a lot of the times. But guess what? I see this person moving forward. I see this person actually looking for maybe another job or another position i see this person trying to move forward and not be stuck in a situation uh, you know if you're wondering if this person's like um wanting a commitment with you pisces i see them moving forward but only after they speak spoke to their therapist only after they spoke to someone who they feel like is you know they feel like it, it's kind of it's kind of like um it's kind of disrespectful how this person kind of treats you because pisces is like you could tell this person the same thing a licensed therapist or whoever they trust in tells them and they'll take it from that person versus taking it from you. And it's kind of like, you know, give me, put some respect on my name. What's the Queen of Cups? Leo energy. I'm telling you, you and these Leos. Strength card though, okay? <sighs> I don't know what it is about hearing it from someone other than you, Pisces, or their family or their friends. It's just like, you know, this person, since they're comfortable with you, they feel like, oh my God, but they feel like if someone that they're not comfortable with or they don't know from a can of paint tells them, oh, it must be true. I don't know why your person feels that way. It could also be their ego. Since they're so close with you and their family and their friends, they their ego won't allow them to like listen to you guys. But when it comes from a stranger, it's like, damn, you know, like, oh, that shit hits differently. What's the hangman in reverse? Sorrow. It takes... Mm. One thing about this person, it's hard for them to hear the truth about themselves. They can tell you the truth about yourself day and night. I mean, left and right. What? Day and night, left and right. They can tell you how they feel about you. It could hurt your feelings, but they don't give a fuck. They're like, okay, Pisces needed to hear that, right? But when it comes to them, they hate being criticized. This person has a big ego. They hate being criticized. It makes them really sad. Inside, it could stem from childhood too. Maybe not being accepted by their parents. Because, you know, when you seek a, accept, a, um, acceptance from your parents and they don't give you the recognition that you need, you seek it only always when you get older. And you, when you build that confidence, you kind of, it's hard for you to let that go. So this person has a big ego. Now, when they hear that they've been doing wrong or that something that you said was right, it really hurts this person. Like, I think this is why this person's so tough as nails. I think this is why this person is like that hates to lose or not be right because they struggled with that in their childhood. And it really, it, this is the one thing that hurts this person is when their ego is stomped on or when they're proven wrong. They hate to be wrong, okay? Hmm. Very interesting. So Pisces, I'm going to do your extended. If you want to follow me over there, we'll be talking about your person. I told you we're going to be talking about you know, um, their past, because I feel like that plays a big role in how this person just has to be right all the time. We're also going to talk about um, their intentions and their feelings towards you. Um, we're also going to be talking about their current thoughts about you and the outcome, okay? So you can follow me there if you want to see it extended. I love you guys so much. I thank you for watching me and coming back, or if you're new here, welcome. Um, give me a big fat thumbs up if this resonated. Comment on Moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. Pisces, um, if you want a personal reading, all that information will be down in the description box below. If you want to follow my Instagram pages, that's going to be under social media in the description box below. And if you want to buy a candle from me, the one I have to show you right here is Night, but I showed you all of them in the beginning. So if you skip through the beginning and you want to see my candles, go back to the beginning and look at all the candles. Or you can go on my website. The first link, it will be the first link down in the description box below for you to purchase a candle. All right, Pisces, I love you guys so much. Um, 
yeah, this was an interesting read, and I'm going to go deeper in the extended. So, yeah, like I said, if you want to get that, follow me there. But other than that, I'll see you guys very soon in your next 48. Bye-bye.